the green poison created by Dr. Gordon Amherst as a means of population control is a weaponized virus, containing traces from smallpox, Ebola, dengue and more virus samples. Although some people are immune, roughly 90% of the population isn't, leading to the authorities desperately seeking methods to combat the virus. Due to the rapid mutation of the virus, it is highly difficult for conventional drugs or antibodies to identify and exterminate the virus, as well as create a proper vaccine to the disease. However, the authorities in Washington DC introduced a new method for battling the virus. After attempts to eradicate the virus failed, quarantined areas, better known as dark zones, formed and an insufficiently tested chemical was deployed, DC-62. However, the chemical had unforeseen side effects, turned out to be just as lethal as the virus itself and left a path of desolation across concentrated areas of the city. Dark Zone West, located in Georgetown, being the testing ground for DC-62, got hit particularly hard by the chemical. The JTF drove DC-62 to the streets of Georgetown and other quarantine zones in large containers on the backs of trucks. The nature of the virus forced the JTF to apply to every surface found and signs indicated one, if not multiple of these tanks, even exploded in the chaos. Streets, buildings, cars and everything that was within its radius is covered by the yellow substance and houses a yellow mist. But outside of these quarantine zones the chemical is found too. These hyena-looking survivors push the civilian man into the gutter, where the compound is flowing into the sewers. Moving through the diner towards the back, the fate of this deer and its burn mark seems to be caused by DC-62 too. And even the other dark zones have traces of it too. One of the JTF officers, Sierra Thompson, has been contaminated with DC-62, indicated as yellow shit. Another officer, Bradley Anderson, attempts to help Sierra up, but is convinced otherwise by a police officer, Macy Lee. If Macy's words are true, once you are contaminated by DC-62, you are as good as dead. Over time, the residue made its way underground in sewers and tunnels, one close by the crash site. These form new contaminated areas with a lot of loot, but at the same time are very lethal. What exactly DC-62's effects are on the human body is unknown, but from intel it seems to have a caustic effect, resulting in second and even third degree burns when in contact with the skin and fur of humans and animals alike. Isaac detects it as a toxic chemical residue, meaning we better stay clear of it. Toxic chemical residue detected. It seems that the factions and the virus aren't the only things trying to kill you in DC. The quarantined areas, Darks and West in particular, as well as the underground and sewers seem to be contaminated and will be high risk yet high reward areas. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the story, I would like to ask you to like or dislike depending on what you thought of the video, share, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that, you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in an intel brief with the summarized information from this video. To end the video, I have a question for you. What do you think the story is behind the chemical compound DC-62? Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. Peace out.